Hi, this is Alison with Saratech, and today we'll be talking about the Model Data Contour tool in VMAP. You can see I have some elements here in my model. I also have some properties. Each one has a different thickness. Uh, and you can see over here that I've deliberately made these elements a little bit messy. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Model Data Contour tool. First, I want to check the box next to Show Model Data Contour. You can check and uncheck this box to turn on and off the contours. Um, depending on how you have your model set up. Maybe you're using uh, colors or contours to post-process your output. Maybe you're using them to look at different properties um, and that kind of thing. So it's very useful to have this toggle uh, whenever you need it. First, I'm going to look at the element quality, especially because I have these messy elements over here. I want to know which ones are problematic. And it's very easy to select aspect ratio. I do want to show this as a contour plot. Uh, you also have the option of showing it as a criteria plot, which means you hide certain elements that don't have a certain value for whatever you select on this side. Uh, but I do want a contour plot, so I'll go ahead and click OK. And I can see a contour plot of the aspect ratios of my elements. And you can see that these ones at the corners are not so great. Uh, these nice square ones are all perfect. Um, so let's look at some other attributes on our elements here. I can also take a look at the Jacobian under element quality. And again, pretty much the same elements that we had um, large aspect ratios for showing up here. Opening up the tool again, I'm going to go down to uh, element and property data. I find this very useful for communicating uh, changes with design. Um, oftentimes, you, when you have colors indicating different properties, maybe different materials, um, it can get confusing when all you need to tell the design team is change this thickness. Um, so I'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see I have square regions, each with a different thickness, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. Finally, we can take a look at our usual entity IDs. Um, so I can select material, click OK, and it's all the same material. It all has the same ID. On the other hand, if I want to look at different properties, I can also do the same. Again, this is a very useful tool if you're using colors to indicate different things in your model, and you don't want to be confused about uh, whether a certain color means a certain property, or a certain color means a certain group, or a certain part, etc. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.